Here in this video we will showcase the 11 times Cthulhu was featured and made appearances in movies and games and talk a little bit on his designs. Let's see the entries first from a movie, then a game, then a movie again and so on. Let's get to it. The first one from the movie Underwater. Cthulhu was reimagined and simplified as a massive aquatic monster with no supernatural abilities or extraterrestrial origins. Neither does the mere sight of him cause the other characters to go insane, nor was there any cults worshipping the monster in this reality. Cthulhu is an alpha creature in a storyline with a massive swarm of underwater creatures. He was easily over 300 to 500 feet long, but here he had no legs, but with a fin. Although the arms, tentacle, mouth and other appendages were all there, he was also found in the Marianas Trench and not really. Number 2 from the game Call of Cthulhu In this game, the storyline is more based upon H.P. Lovecraft's work. The Call of Cthulhu is set in a darker version of our reality. The Cthulhu that appeared in the cinematic at the end of the game really brought out what Lovecraft meant about the Great Old One. This Cthulhu, a thousand feet tall, clad in darkness, had a humanoid body standing on two massive legs and had two muscular arms. He also had gigantic wings on his back as well as long swerving tentacles that are a part of his mouth. This Cthulhu was also worshipped by a cult and induced madness upon witnesses. Number 3 from the movie Valdemar Legacy 2 The film is a direct sequel to Valdemar Legacy which was also released in the same year. The film used many themes from Lovecraft's mythology. The Valdemar Legacy 2 the Forbidden Shadows concludes with a sequence in which a cult conjures up Cthulhu. Naturally, this deity isn't a kind god and slaughters a large number of people before being dragged down into the depths of the water. Cthulhu here was around 25 feet tall and was depicted without any substantial deviation from what he was described to look like. Number 4. The Shore This is a Lovecraftian horror exploration and adventure video game developed by Greek indie developer Ares Dragonus. The show featured many eldritch entities and a host of deadly monsters including one that was in the shape of a tall monolith with legs. The protagonist of the game had to go through stages which ends up in him awakening Cthulhu from his death-like slumber. This Cthulhu had a more bulbous head and two glowing eyes and was around 200 feet tall. Number 5 from South Park This one is an animated show and it featured the great old one in a very long sequence as a partner of Eric Cartman's The Coon. Cthulhu here is a massive multi-dimensional monster towering over drilling platforms, so over 100 meters or 330 feet in height. He possesses two arms with razor-sharp talons and on his back, he possesses two huge bat-like wings. He has a lengthy tail that he appears to utilize to guide himself through the air. His head features two huge golden eyes and lacks a mouth and instead has a big pair of tentacles that move as he talks or emits vocal noises. Number 6. Smite In this game, Cthulhu is a god that was released from his prison made up of cosmic energy chains to fight Zeus and other characters. He is a playable character and has a lot of special abilities such as sending blasts of energy, summoning a portal, creating a slowing feel of Eldritch Mire, also revealing his true form which is a transcendent dark ethereal form and breaking down the mental fortitude of enemy gods. Number 7. From Love, Death and Robots here in the series, which is an anthology of different stories, Cthulhu, also credited as the Bounded God, is the main antagonist of the episode in Vaulted Halls and Tomb. He is portrayed as a mountain-sized monster chained by eldritch magic, with bat-like wings that are double his body length and four flaying tentacles in the front of his mouth. His head is shaped in a star formation. He also possesses 12 glowing golden eyes, which he uses to communicate and brainwash his victims, driving them into madness. Number 8. From the game Edge of Nowhere Released in 2016, Edge of Nowhere is an action-adventure virtual reality video game developed for the Oculus Rift VR headset. Based on Lovecraft's In the Mountain of Madness, the player encounters disturbing creatures and monsters and climbs sheer cliff walls as he descends further into madness from the Great Old One's effects in the mountain range. Cthulhu here seems to have an elongated skull like a xenomorph with long tentacles from his mouth and a body with an identifiable ribcage and also 14 glowing yellowish eyes that drives the character into madness just by seeing him. Number 9 from the series Lovecraft Country Cthulhu appeared in the opening sequences as a large multi-tentacle creature with bat-like wings in Atticus's dream sequence. 
It was barely 20 to 25 feet tall in the series' appearance and was easily killed by a baseball bat. Cthulhu here had no legs or arms, nor an upper torso but just a bulbous head with a tentacle mouth as well as larger tentacles for grabbing things and fighting. Number 10 from the game King Floor 2 In this first-person shooter survival video game developed on Steam, set in a post-apocalyptic scene where deadly clones called Zets are overrunning Europe, murdering everyone on sight. Here Cthulhu also makes an appearance as a giant monster that jump scares and attacks the players. Cthulhu here is mountainous in size and has two yellow glowing eyes as well as all the traits and anatomical features commonly ascribed to him. And number 11 from the animated Rick and Morty. In here, Cthulhu appears in the opening credit scenes of each season uh, depicted following Rick, Sanchez, Morty and Summer ostensibly to protect his kid. The monster features an octopus head with six eyes instead of two, a navy or dark blue body, a maroon coloration near the ends of its arms. It has gigantic wings that allow it to fly and a tail akin to that of a lizard or a dragon. So those are all the Cthulhus from movies, games and TV series, as well as animated ones. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.